It's the start of a new year. Let's set up our grade books. We're going to try and make this short and sweet on setting up our grade book for the year. First off, you're going to want to make sure that you are in the correct school year up in the corner. And then you will also want to make sure that uh, um, you have this set for term grade. And I'm going to start off with the first class in my uh, schedule. So hour number one, I have geometry. So uh, I'm going to open up the settings tab. And I'm going to go down to my grade calc options. Go to my grade calc options, and uh, this is what you should have. So I would go to show all, and right now everything is in for in progress grade, high school, which is perfect, um, and then the weighted categories. And right now uh, you can choose between weighted and points. So if you are weighted categories, everything's checked already. If you're points, you're going to want to uncheck those all um, if you're doing a point system. Okay, I'm actually going to do it as weighted, so I will uh, recheck those. All right, and those are in for as default. The one thing you will want to always have unchecked is you want to go to the semester exam, and we are going to remove that. No matter if you're weighted categories or point system, you want to make sure semester exam is unchecked for the weight categories. Otherwise, when it comes time for posting, you will not be able to post. Um, and then I'm going to come down to my final semester grade. And right down here at the bottom, it's the last one. And I'm going to need to build, and sh uh, I'm going to add three sections. So once again, I, uh, all I did was uncheck that, or check that box, and then I added three sections. Now, your semester will entail three parts. So I'm going to do the drop-down menu, and I'm going to go term grade, ter term one, so that would be quarter one, quarter two, and then the final thing is semester exam. And then weight it accordingly. Um, and I'm going to weight mine 40, 40, 20. And your s semester exam can range between 10 and 20 percent. So just keep that in mind. Uh, everything else so should be uh, equaling 100 percent. All right. And once you have it the way you want it, uh, you can just press save, and that class is done for your grade calculations. The only other thing you might want to do is make some categories. And so if I make some categories, I'm going to go to the category and press add a category and I'm going to do formative alright and then I am going to say that I want it in both geometry classes and then I want to put that where do I want my formative assessments I want it in my term grade. We avoid midterm like the plague. Do not do anything with midterm. The only time we have to go to midterm is when we post. So uh, you never should have to do anything in midterm. But I'm going to want my formative in my quarter grade. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to save. All right. And then I will build another summative. And I want that in both classes. And I'm also going to put my summative in term. All right, because I want that as part of the quarter grade. Save. And then I'm going to do one more. I'm going to call this exam. All right. Now this one you got to think about for a second. Do I want the exam in my quarter grade? No. I actually want it in my semester exam. Right, because it's my exam. So I'll put it in your semester exam task, and then we're going to save. All right, so you should have three categories. And then since I am weighting the categories, I will put a weight limit. If you're doing points, you don't need to do anything here. But uh, since I'm weighting, I'm going to do this 20 for formative and 80 
for summative. So that's your classic 80-20. And then my exam, I'm going to leave blank. Because if you remember, I already weighted it 20% uh, of their final grade um, back under grade calc options. That's it, guys. Um, I'm going to save that. Now you just have to do it for every class. Um, categories uh, are added to other classes, but uh, you will have to go to your grade calc options and set up every other class. So hopefully this is helpful. Have a great day.